Okay, I had to do it on my last day here in Minnesota. I just got down from the gym and right across the street, I see a Petco and I said, I just have to check it out because I'm super curious what's going on in other pet stores around the you know United States, around the world. Um, most I like to see mom and pop pet, uh, pet mom and pop fish stores. <clears throat> excuse my words, out there that are you know showing bigger fish, monster fish. But I'm always curious about you know if you have a pet co in a certain area, what's the difference between the pet co in a different area? They have different fish, and why is it different fish? And really curious. So I'm here. At Petco, like I said, I'm here at Petco to see what's going on. So I'm not for sure if there's any fish there. I'm not for sure if they will have only dog grooming. That's what it says on the sign. There's another sign that says grooming here. It seems like a pretty big pet store. Um, not, I'm not used to the smaller kind of level pet stores, but we'll see what finds happens. And I'll try to catch a little video here and there what goes on, and I'll be right back. Typical tanks, small fish there, here, here, some fish. Some plants, some more fish. I'm kind of going fast, but you guys can see they got some cool fish here that are definitely good for a small starter community tank. And you know, some fish there. You guys can see some fish here, fish here, good. Empty tank, got a small little guy there. Look at him, looking at the camera. Got some small guys there. Obviously, they're probably looking to get fed. I got an Oscar there, but looks like if I zoom out, he has a little bit of egg. So it's not a good sign, but hopefully get some care. And a parrotfish. Oh, super shy, he's on some way. Love into tank. Love into tank. Well you guys can see they have a some sunfish here. No salt water, but you see some mollies. I see small fish here. There's kind of a into tank there, some fish there. Got some more mollies there. And got some cool, cool things, but normally what you see in the pet store, there's a small dwarf mommy there. Tetris are there. Okay, that was super quick. Not much selection, but I didn't expect more from a big box store in a, in a small community. Oftentimes, as people don't understand, in a smaller community, big box pe uh, chain stores like Pet or PetSmart may not have a lot of selection because there's not a lot of people to support that, you know, that fish or that dog food or bed. And totally understandable. Why would you stock a store with stuff that's going to sit there forever, especially fish? So small fish selection, a couple of empty tanks. So one Oscar has some ick. Totally okay. It's typical in a lot of big stores. And that's why when I get my fish, I always quarantine them, medicate them because, you know, you don't know what environment they're coming from. So great being here in a big box store. My almost last day in Minnesota. So I went to Wet Aqua. I went to Aqualand. I went to a lot of different places. Saw some cool fish. Uh, definitely some fish I love to rescue, but I just can't take it on the plane. I saw Big Paku, which I will share with you guys later on. Um, another video and I saw an Oscar. I saw some really monster fish at a certain pet store. Go back there again. I'll check it out. I'll try to link the, the, the description in the bottom in this video so you guys can see other pet stores I've been to. Check it out if you see this video. So now pet store down. I'm going to take some rest and don't forget to subscribe and comment. I want to hear your views and my next destination. I'll show you guys soon. Thanks for listening.